Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Awesome Knots, your truly slow wolf. Star Storm, match ID 1, VRMX 180, the world's easiest trick when you're playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, arguably one of the best games i ever played on GameCube. Really, really sweet actually. Uh, Prophecy's playing Max, Max Focus, huh? Uh, Rocco is being picked up by Hot Chris Bun. We have 20 seconds to pick something that works here. We want something that can initiate a fight. That can be anything from Leonto, whatever else. But the thing that's really going to clinch it here, the thing that's really going to make this work, is Sentry. Like, Sentry's the best pick. Um, let's go with the Specimen X58 skin. And let's see if we can make this uh, make this work. Now, I know Sentry's a dickbag move. <laughs> I'm experienced enough to know this. After after five years of playing this game and consistently placing pretty high up on the ladder, I think I've got the experience to, to be able to know what's going on here. So, yeah, Sentry's a dickhole move. But Sentry being a dickhole move in this case is fine by me. Juice is really good at what he does. So, uh, we're off for an interesting game here. Absolutely. This could definitely turn out in a way that is seen as both uh, interesting and fun, I think. Uh, and... You know what? Let's visualize how we're going to turn this around. How we're going to do this. We need to wait for Juice to do his thing. You know? Use the black hole shield to absorb either Raylan Snipe or, um, or Scree Saws. I'm expecting a Raylan Snipe any minute now. Oh, we missed it, unfortunately. Now save this for when Penny shows up. If Penny shows up, which she did. And that's going to... Oh, that's actually going to pull a number of people close by. That's weird. Drop this here. That way my team can see what's going on. Um, what we are going to be doing is trying our best to make sure that Penny doesn't have much of an option here. And if Penny shows up... Oh, just, oh yeah, buddy. Oh, the black hole is so good. Now if Penny shows up, we've got such a good moment ahead of us. Like, Penny can't really do anything as a result. Oh, please. You, know, you leave that shit alone, man. That's my solar. Oh, my lord. He died. Yes! That feels good, man. Feels very good. Okay, Prophecy, I'm not sure how you survived that. But we're going to continue to protect you against the Penny as much as possible here, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and put this out. Oh, there's a good situation for us. And here might be another one. No? Okay, you know what? That was a missed chance. But you know what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Jordan, you know? A man who was so good at basketball, he got his own line of shoes for, like, ever. Thanks to a man who's like a legendary shoe designer, you know? And he's a legendary shoe designer because of the Jordans. Oh, look at all the solar on the ground, baby. Okay, now we just save this for when Penny shows up and then watch the fucking fireworks. Oh yeah, 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 okay, that's cool. Um, good hits there by both teams, but we are gonna come out on top of that one for sure. Uh, now we just need to make sure that we come out on top of this bit here. Chris, unfortunately gets killed, not good for us. Okay, pounced away, not good for us, that's fine. Uh, we can still continue to push out these lanes, no problem. So I'm going to continue to do so. Now, we will get sniped if we step out here. So, let's make sure that we step out in a good time. Hmm. Sort of worth at least trying out. It dealt a little bit of damage. It might have been useful for the max as well. We don't have black hole for a couple seconds, but as we can see, they are a little bit damaged. They've been dinged somewhat by this. Oh, and that Scree just can't help but feed us, man. Every time he lightnings, every time he lightnings, every time he lightnings. It's just clockwork. Now, how do we turn this into an advantage for us? I mean, there's a couple of different things that we could be doing here, but our black hole's dwindling. Let's put it that way. It's not looking as healthy as it could. So we want to make sure that we use it so that we've got a bigger black hole for next time. And then continue to push out the lane. Which is not hard to do, thanks to the Teleburst and a number of other things that we can uh, make happen here. You know what? I think as far as upgrades go, oh, that was a good opportunity. Now we actually have a black hole. There's a penny around, so... Instead, we managed to do some damage to that guy. Does he have the size on the saw blade first thing? What a weirdo. I'll take that solar, thank you very much. Is that a bit overkill for one bit of solar? Oh, hell yes. I'm, I was tempted to walk into the time rift to feed my thing here, but what I saw happening there was me being stuck in said time rift and then having a very bad time because of it. Um, did not want that. That was a bad visualization for me. So, there we go. That's much better. Took a little bit of damage, but it doesn't really matter all that much here. Oof, that's, that's painful. Um, I think we're going to go ahead, drop our teleport beacon, 
Go for one more black hole before we leave. Pull them into my minds like that. Perfect. That's good stuff. All right. Bottom lane's pushing. Let's go ahead, head back home, then teleport back to the lane. This is a really basic trick that if you've played any other MOBAs, should seem really familiar. Um, ooh, do I want the damage first? I mean, I do want damage. Okay, there we go. So like I said, it's a very basic trick that if you played any other MOBAs, should seem really obvious. Um, you just kind of show up and put out a uh, teleport beacon, which effectively acts as a TP home. TP in this case meaning teleport. Duh. Uh, with that out, you can just take it easy, relax, enjoy your life effectively. Okay, now. Okay, what I would do to be able to put myself in a better situation here. I know what happens if I go up there right now with everybody up there. So let's not go up there with everybody up there. Just like one, maybe two people. Okay, that missed. It got the penny. So that was actually a reasonable amount of damage on one person. Which is okay here. Um, oh, if that penny goes into that black bottom area. Oh, okay. We dealt some extra damage there. That was pretty cool. Okay, put that out there. We are missing currently a one teleport, which is not ideal. And a little bit of HP, which I would like to have that problem fixed in the next couple seconds. No, 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 no. Uh, game, game. I miscounted my freaking thing, apparently. Oh, okay, he needed it more than I did. Fair enough. Okay, just do this. Get fed. Okay, he tried to do the dirty move there, but it didn't quite work out. Landed that on at least somebody. Okay, that hurts. Put this out. Land it. Now, what do we do? We're going to wait for Teleport to kind of show up. And right now, what I'm visualizing is we get smoked by a snipe or something along those lines. So, we're going to back off. Get some extra HP. Now, we can go back out there. Ooh, that was almost bad. Um, oh, that almost worked. That did work. Got him. I mean, at least we got the kill there. At least we got a kill. Oh, hold on. Okay, we want to have black hole for when this becomes a thing. I.e., when Penny starts becoming annoying. So far, so good. Backing off. I mean, we're still down here just kind of like plinking away at the HP of these droids, but that's okay. We have five free solar for it, so I'm going to take my wins where I can get them. I am looking to pick up the second rank of Starstorm statue as quickly as possible here, because that's very easy damage to pick up, I find. Um, shouldn't be hard to do in the least. Oh, please. Saw blade me. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what I've done. But I missed everything anyway, so it's not a big deal, apparently. Got one. Who's next? I'll take the shield buff, effectively. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, good kill. Good kill. We didn't get sniped. Hot Chris Bun got a freaking awesome kill. That worked out exactly the way that we predicted. Okay, grab this. Grab, ooh, you know what? Yeah, Night Vision Spy Watch is more important. So we're gonna grab that immediately. Um, this allows us now to effectively just charge in and now we can start building into Teleburst. But not before we pick up another little bit of solar here just to make sure that we got uh, what we need going on. Oh yeah, feel the freaking burnt. Love Sentry sometimes. Sentry can be so much fun to play if you just get the right feed, you know? If you get the right situations showing up, which is most of them, let's be honest. Okay, that was a massive one. He's done. That was huge. We got one of them for sure. Uh, this teleport's not going to end up being very useful right now. But give it time, man. Give it time. We're just being fed by the scree. He was just being very nice about things. And toasted. Easy peasy. See? All you gotta do is predict the pounce. And Penny has no means out. It's freaking amazing. Okay. Start pushing this out. Maybe start putting out the black hole so he's got a little bit more oomph behind it. Put this down. Now teleport home. Not hard to do. Now, dog tags. We've got him. HV's back. Teleport back into the lane so that in a way that gives us damage to the droid lanes as well. Perfect. Now just come in. And I was expecting them to be a little bit more defensive, so that's my bad. Not expecting them to be offensive is a misplay of experience, honestly. Um... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The trick here is to have it in advance. Uh, what do I mean by it? The black hole. That's what I mean. If you can get the black hole up in advance, you're in a much better spot. Oh, toasted! 100% roasted. Okay, now go nuts. 
Good damage. Very good damage. Chris almost died there, which would have been very sad indeed, but not what ended up happening. Okay, teleport here. Do some damage to the droid lane instead of uh, wherever else it needed to be. Take this stuff out. Not even hard to do. Okay. We did not get the suck that we needed there. But that's okay. We're going to be able to take out top. And so, in this game, nine minutes in, we got a three-level advantage, just barely. Things are looking good. Things are looking very good. Now, what do we need to do next? The next trick in our bag here is making Teleburst a thing to be very, very frightened of and actually landing it. That second part is a lot harder than it looks because of the scree. So if we're going to be able to land this stuff, we're going to want to do it before the scree even shoots, if we can manage to pull that off. If we can pull that off, we're in a much better spot. Okay, pushing that out a little bit here is totally okay. Going downstairs maybe to do some extra damage to Juice. Ah, missed the most of all, like all the damage there, unfortunately, but that's okay. Because we actually have a massive push downstairs that they are going to have to defend. And if we manage to get a good black hole off, oh, please. Oh, I was going to say, if that had hit my shield, I would have been freaking in love. Good kill by the penny. Seriously, Juice? That was awesome. Uh, Max was a little bit too pushed too far forward. Didn't see the penny coming, like, which is something that you can visualize for sure. Uh, and then just suffered for it. In, like, incredibly, honestly. Okay. Lots of good damage there, but now Hot Chris has gone in a little bit too deep. We need to protect him. So, let's do that a little bit. Not too much, because if we take too much, then we're dead. They can put out an exceptional amount of burst. Uh, okay. We try to predict a teleburst there. It didn't work out, and that's okay. Doesn't always happen, but when it does, that could have been an easy kill. Now, what's our next couple of upgrades? We're going to pick up Circuits of Time. It's an upgrade that gives us an extra, like, clone, effectively, when we show up. Uh, that extra clone can do quite a lot. Okay, she bounced out of it. That makes sense. That's that's me just kind of baiting out the bounce, and it's not a big deal um, either way, honestly. We're both going to have our cooldowns back by the time that we start back up again. That was just a misplay on my part. I should have known that she would have dipped down. That's fine, though. Misplays are allowed. Misplays are allowed. Everybody makes misplays. The issue is, can you make some good happen out of a misplay? Good kill onto Juice. I'm surprised that, that worked out half as well as it did. Good job, Chris, and not dying there either. That's massive. Oh, thank you. That is lovely. That is the most lovely black hole I've ever wasted. Um, <laughs> oh, this is, this is great. Okay, go over here. Now, we have everything we need. Oh. Never mind. We did not have everything that we needed. How do we manage to pull this? Oh, wait. Hold on. Ah, I should have left the teleport beacon there. I'm stupid. Okay, circuit of time. We got it now. Uh, what should I have... What, what, I, what do I need to do here? The idea here is that I need to teleburst in and have the clone drop on top of them dealing a bunch of extra damage here. Again, very difficult to do with uh with scree having ch access to chain lightning and a bunch of other stuff however our ability to deal a ton of aoe damage all at once forced him to go back and use up his hp so he now has zero big hp packs upstairs good start that's not gonna hit a goddamn thing unfortunately lots of good damage on penny though so that's pretty sweet um so penny and ray have to back off great that's exactly what i want how do we manage to turn this into a win? We need to keep doing that, but actually landing everything else. Oh, come on. How did you not go exactly the way that I predicted? There we go. Got him instead that way. Perfect! So we landed Teleburst, and lo and behold, somebody died. So long as we can keep doing that, we're in a fantastic spot. Especially because Teleburst does an inordinate amount of damage. It's a little more it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult indeed, I'll grant you that. Ah, no dice, huh? It's fine. No snipe on me either, though, so I'm fine with that. Uh, we're gonna pull no one in that. That's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up here, drop this clone thing that's gonna give me a bunch of extra HP, thanks to the uh, neutral creep that showed up at the last second, and then we're gonna just pour it up here, start pushing here. What happens is that when we leave... Oh, when we enter a teleporting, tele like, wormhole... Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, we had to try for it. We had to try for it. Uh, what happens is when we enter the portal, we uh, the place where we leave, leaves a little clone of me. So it's like a little after image. That after image can do a reasonable amount of damage if someone walks into it. It can be shot, however, and gotten rid of that way. 
Couldn't quite get there in time. That's fine. Uh, where do you think you're going, Penny? Back off. Okay, so her ability to kind of just... Got one. Got two, maybe. Yep, that's two. Three. That's two kills. Perfect. All right, we landed a reasonable black hole that killed the Scree definitely, but it also managed to completely annihilate their ability to run away, just as a whole, which is awesome. Um, which I'm very proud of, actually, if I can just say that for, for realsies. Uh, they need to defend this top turret or deal with core. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start doing damage to this thing instead. Those droids are eventually going to be hit by our left clicks. We still have a black hole. The more important thing about black hole isn't the damage so much as the movement restriction. If you can land the movement re restriction aspect of it, black hole is fantastic. That's just a, a tip for you guys out there who are looking to make uh, some uh, more beginning century kind of plays. Oh, shit. The te teleburst did not quite work there. That's fine. I'll just teleport home then. I don't need to be here. So, what do we need? One more rank in teleburst. Uh, at this point, we've got all the damage necessary on our teleport, which is going to allow us to do an incredible amount of team fight if we can manage to land it. Uh, it only gets better from here, honestly. Good, 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 And toasted. See what I mean? Penny lost almost all of her HP in one shot because of that teleburst. It is dementedly strong. If you can land it. it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. That almost worked out beautifully. We actually ended up doing enough damage there that both of them had to head back home. That's that's a fun time for me. <laughs> okay. A couple seconds left. And then we'll be able to go in there. Go. That's fine. Okay. So we've got Penny's super gun. And we got killed. Well played by Juice. That's our first death, unfortunately. Um, and I should have, like, teleburst a little ahead of time because I knew I was dead. Like, I could see that coming a mile away after I did not have Black Hole anymore. There was no way to defend myself against a, uh, a penny that was charging at me, so that was bad. So what's costing them this game right now? The reason why we're killing them so hard is because Scree can't fucking survive. He can't go near any one of us without taking a reasonable amount of damage because of my Black Hole. So... That's always important to keep in mind, guys. Don't mess that shit up. We now have silence on our teleburst? Like, silence? This ain't fair anymore. Um, it's like shooting fish in a barrel at this point, honestly. And our ability to clear out lanes thanks to teleburst is also pretty amazing. It's on 12 second cooldown and we kind of want to use it all the time, which is harsh. We need to pick and choose our fights appropriately is my, uh, my thinking here, but... Okay. That's okay. That's fine. We missed out on a black hole. It's got a tiny ass cooldown, so I do not mind at all. Oh, please. Ah, crap. Good kill. Very good kill. You know what? Fuck it. Managed to do a little bit of extra damage there as well. Now we're in their base. The penny isn't anywhere near us. Let's just take care of this shit. Game's over, man. We did it. 17 minutes in. We played well. GG, well played. And we, we clinched it. Again, we managed to play our sentry very, very well. From the pick screen, sentry was the obvious pick. You had Max on your team. You had Rock on your team. Both of those players, like both of those characters, really benefit from having a sentry on their team that knows what he's doing. I'm not saying that I know what I'm doing 100% of the time, but obviously I know what I'm doing a good chunk of the time. Um... And from there, it was just a matter of applying pressure where we needed to, holding Black Hole for Penny to screw up once or twice. And honestly, Scree could not survive. He just, if he got caught in a Black Hole, he was toasted. So was Raylan, but Raylan played really well around that, which was good. She managed to stay back, try to do snipes, but as a result, she felt really ineffective. Uh, as did the Penny, who couldn't really get close to us. Granted, for our Max and our Rocco, this game probably felt a lot more, uh, I don't know, on edge? Uh, they were They had to play a lot better than I did in order to make this one work. But despite that, we did well. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know I sure did. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.